Welcome back to your wine lovers, today we're gonna talk about Amarone. Bold, elegant and complex, Amarone della Valpolicella is one of the most iconic Italian red wines. It is produced drying the grapes in order to concentrate colors, aromas and structure, obtaining a wine with a unique character. And today we're gonna talk about one of the best interpretations of Amarone della Valpolicella. I'm introducing you to Amarone la Bastia by Tinazzi. The Tinazzi winery has locations both in Valpolicella, where Amarone is produced, and in Puglia, but today we're gonna focus on Valpolicella. The valley of Valpolicella is protected on the north by the Lassini Mountains and embellished by the gentle breeze deriving from the Garda Lake. These conditions create a unique microclimate, particularly suited for the productions of wines distinguished by finesse. So, just to quickly contextualize Tinazzi, the wineries was founded in 1968 by Eugenio Tinazzi. The rising success of the winery allowed Tinazzi to acquire four estates located in Puglia and Veneto. Nowadays, the winery counts over 250 acres of vineyards and it's run by the son Gian Andrea and the nephew and the niece of the founder, Giorgio and Francesco. Today, the Tinazzi wines represent a flagship of the appellation, which competes with the most renowned and appreciated labels on a global scale. But let's start to take a look at this wine. So, Amarone La Bastia 2017, a vintage mainly distinguished by the quality rather than the quantity in Valpolicella. In the glass, we have a typical Amarone della Valpolicella deep ruby red color with garnet reflections. This wine is produced by blending traditional Valpolicella grapes such as Colvina, Corvinone and a small portion of Rondinella. The grapes dry until December, the so-called appassimento, with the aim of concentrating sugars and flavors, but also softens the acidity and acquire extra smoothness. On the nose, the aromas are particularly refined and multifaceted. Ranging from the fresh fruit timbers of cherries and dried plums to balsamic tones of pine resin enriched by well-integrated oaky spicy notes such as dark chocolate, coffee powder and tobacco. On the palate, it has a sensational expensive concentration, silky texture which stretches towards a really never-ending finish. The tannins are remarkably set and smooth, and harmonically integrated with the acidity. A very engaging interpretation of Amarone della Valpolicella. It pairs perfectly with structured meat-based recipes, such as game poultry like pheasant and duck, but thanks to its complexity and finesse, it is also very pleasant on its own, as a meditation wine. So, thank you for watching, I'd really like to know which are your favorite Amarone della Valpolicella and what do you think about this one? Amarone della Valpolicella La Bastia by Tinazzi. So, see you next time! Cheers! Santé! Salute!